Hello guys, it is DLC Elfper and welcome back to another Minecraft Story Mode Statue Tutorial. Today we are going to make Elagard as you can see, in the last episode we did Olivia, next episode we are going to make Magnus, and as you can see the episode after that we are going to make Ruben. Although I didn't totally finish him, but um, yeah, there's no, not of, uh, yeah, nothing special because I'm going to uh, fix it after this uh, episode. And it's for, uh, yeah, overdo this anyway. So uh, yeah, as you can see I'm going to make Elagard right now, uh, the blocks that we will be needing for this episode. As you can see it's not that many blocks, uh, you will need some oak planks. Uh, spruce wood planks, grey stained clay, brown stained clay, nether brick, red wool, pink stained clay, red stained clay, yellow stained clay, black wool, obsidian, light blue stained clay, a block of gold, block of quartz, hardened clay, and some white stained clay. So let me get rid of that box over there. Okay, and then we're going to get started. Um, let me just make sure that I'm at the right point. Okay, there we go. I think this is just about right. Okay. So the very first thing we do uh, is we're going to get ourselves the oak planks, green best block, and it will make a four by eight box out of that. So uh, the first line is going to be eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you turn around and you do one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Then once again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four. All right. So this is a four by eight box. Then the next thing we do is we place uh, some grey stained clay in each corner like this and also in the middle like that so this is how it will look right then then after that you will get yourself some brown stained clay and fill up all of the empty spaces over here like this and there we go then on top of this grey stained clay we place some red wool like this so this is the shape that you'll get. And we extend this three times. So this is the first time. Second time. And the third time. So there we go. So in total it will be one, two, three, four blocks uh, high. This, uh, this stuff over here. Then what we do is we get ourselves some redstone clay. And we place it right over here. Over here. Over here over here also on the sides over here and over here all right so there we go then there's still a few uh, a few lines which are empty and what you want to do is fill these up with some pink stained clay like this just fill all of these holes up and there we go then what we do oh wait i missed one <laughs> wait a second there we go then we go to the one, two, three, four, fifth layer over here. And then in the corners we place some yellow stained clay. Like this. And also two blocks away from the corners. So one, no actually one, two, like that. Also we do the same thing in the back. Just place the blocks over there. And there we go. Okay, then we do two layers of nether brick. So just go all the way around with your nether brick. Like that. Also this layer over here. There we go. Then in the corners we place some brown stained clay. Like this. And also in the middle. There we go. Then get yourself the spruce wood planks and fill up the empty space. Like this. There we go. And now we extend this layer uh, three times. So first just the brown stained clay. First layer. Second layer. And the third layer that then the brush spiritual planks just fill them up until they're at the same layer as the brown state clay like this and there we go done now next thing we do to so run a full layer of nether brick like this uh, then uh, we start off with the, with the front of the body because we just did the legs, now we start off with the body. So what we do is from the corner we place two yellow blocks, also in those corners over here. And then we make them go two times uh, inside, so one, two, one, two, oh, two, one, two, and one, two, like this. Uh, then we get ourselves uh, some gold, you can replace that for the, the red stained clay. And just fill up this part over here. So we will get this shape. Then we extend the corners two times. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. 
like that. And then on the left side of the body, what you want to do is place some block of gold. And on the back, you also want to place it on the left side. So this is how it will look right now. This is the front, as you can see. All right. Uh, then we do one yellow stained clay next to that. And then another two pieces of block of gold. Like that. And then another piece of yellow stained clay. All right. There we go. Then what we do uh, is we get ourselves some uh, obsidian. You can replace for the brown stained clay. Also some light blue stained clay, which you can replace for the gray stained clay. And we also want to get ourselves a block of quartz, which you can replace for the spruce wood planks. Now what we do <coughs> is we um, place the block of quartz over there. Then two pieces of light blue stained clay. And then three pieces of obsidian. Then if we go to the back, uh, you quickly want to get want to get rid of these six blocks over here, like that. And then just fill these up with some nether brick. Uh, like this. There we go, this is how it will look right then. Then we go back to the front. And we extend the middle two blocks uh, two times. So this one and this one. So one, two, one, two, like that. And on top of that you place some yellow stained clay. Then what we do is we get ourselves some obsidian, we place it next to it, like that. Then the next layer only two times, like that. And the third layer is going to be black wool, you can replace it with blue stain clay. Uh, and then filling this part up, like this. So this is how it will look right now, this is the front. Next layer, uh, extend the black wool in the corners, then next to it place some obsidian. Next to that, on the left side, you want to place some yellow stained clay. And on the other three pieces, just some gold blocks. Then the next layer is totally yellow stained clay. Like this. Then in the corners, you want to extend the clay two times. So one, two, one, two. Like that. And then another full layer of yellow stained clay. There we go. Okay, then the next thing we do is we fill up this whole square over here. With some red wool, like this. Then we go to... These three blocks, the right ones, you want to get rid of those and replace them with some pink stained clay. So there we go, this is how it looks right now. If you didn't catch up with me, just make sure to pause the video and then rebuild everything. And then we can get started on the uh, back over here, which is almost the same. In fact, it's actually uh, totally the same, I can see over here. So all you really need to do is just build everything you see in front of you. So that means uh, over here, for example, you can see some black wool. Place some black wool over there, over there as well, over there as well, over there as well. Um, then for this corner, also four pieces of black wool. Give some time back to day. There we go. Then over here, you can see some obsidian like that. Two pieces of obsidian, two pieces over there. So it will look like this. Uh, then over here, it's symmetrical. So that means on top of the gold blocks, you want to have some other gold blocks and some yellow stained clay over there as well. Then like this, like that. Black wool over there. Alright, there we go. This is how it looks right now. I hope you can see it because it's pretty uh, difficult with uh, the other thing in the back. So yeah, this is how it looks right now. Then what we do is we place some obsidian over here as well. Over here, some uh, yellow stained clay. And over here, three pieces of gold. Like this. Then a full layer of yellow stained clay. Like that. In the corner, extend it two times. Like this. Then do another full layer. And then do the exact same thing you can see over here. So that means the first layer is red wool. Then over here, oh, over here, three pieces of red wool as well. And then over here, three pieces of pink stained clay. Okay, there we go. That's it for the back. Now we're going to get started on the arms. So let me just quickly go back to the front. As you can see, the back and front do look a lot the same. Only just the difference is this little thing over here. Uh, but what you want to get yourself is some obsidian. You want to go to this nether uh, layer over here beneath the yellow clay. And then extend it two times. Like this. Then go one block up with the obsidian. Uh, then get yourself the spruce wood planks again. You can replace them for the block of quartz. And build all the way around it. Except for the oh, but yeah, bottom one over there. Then you also want to get yourself some brown stained clay. Which you can replace for the black wool. Like this. And you want to go around the spruce wood planks. Like this. So this is the shape that you'll get. Then in the corners you want to place some red wool. And in between that, some red stained clay, which you can replace for pink stained clay. Oh, whoops, that's uh, gold. You want to have some red stained clay, like that. Uh, then you make this spruce wood and brown stained clay layer uh, continue. Like this. 
as you can see it continues. Then three layers of nether bricks, one, two, three, like that. Then in the corner some brown stained clay, in the middle some spruce planks, full layer of spruce planks, and then once again in the corners brown stained clay. Some oh no, wait a second, I did it wrong. Another layer of spruce planks, like that. And then some brown stained clay in the corners, and some spruce planks in the middle, like that. Then we go to the back. What we do is we extend the obsidian three times, also the brown stained clay three times, like that. And we once again build everything we see in front of us. So that means <coughs> two obsidian over here, go around of it with some spruce planks, also over there. In the corner some red wool, red stained clay, then extend the brown stained clay and the spruce planks. Three layers of nether brick, one, two, and three, like that. Then in the corners brown stained clay within the middle spruce planks, two layers of spruce planks, in the corners brown stained clay, and in the middle some spruce planks. There we go. So pause the video if you didn't catch up with me. I know I was a little bit quick because I am I don't have that much time, but I also definitely want to make a video this time. So uh, I mean for today, because I promise you guys that. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm a bit uh, quick today. As you can see, I just filled up the shoulder over there. Also, you want to connect the nether bricks to each other. Uh, then over here, you want to place some spruce planks. Over there, some red stained clay, and over here, some more spruce planks. There we go. Right, that's it for the first arm. Second arm, uh, arm is exactly the same. So what we do is we go back to this nether brick layer, ex uh, extend it with some obsidian. Then we place the obsidian one block to the top, surround it with some spruce planks all the way uh, on the over there, because you want to surround that with some uh, brown stained clay. <coughs> then red wool in the corners, red stained clay over there, uh, extend the brown stained clay layer, as well as the spruce planks layer. Then one, two, three layers of net brick in the corner oh oops in the corners you want to have some brown stained clay in between it some spruce planks spruce planks over there spruce planks over there like that brown stained clay in the corners and spruce planks over there so that's it for the second arm as you can see totally symmetrical on the other one pause the video if you didn't catch up with that and then we go to the back so once again extend the obsidian like this also the brown stained clay extend that as well there we go. Then build uh, two obsidian on top of the other ones. Go with the spruce planks like that. The brown stained clay like this. Then in the corner some red wool. Some red stained clay over there. Some spruce wool planks, just extend them as you can see over there. Next, three layers of nether brick. One, two, three. There we go. Brown stained clay in the corners. Spruce planks in the middle, two layers of spruce planks, brown stained clay in the corners, and spruce planks in the middle. There we go. Pass the feet if they catch up with me. Um, oh yeah, then we do the sides of the arms over here, which is first layer spruce planks, second layer as well, third layer red stained clay, fourth layer spruce planks, uh, fifth layer nether brick, sixth layer as well, seventh layer as well, and then the other layers are all spruce planks, like this. Quickly fill up three layers of the shoulders, as you can see over there, one, two, three, there we go, and there we go, alright. So now it's time for the face, what you want to get for the face, just quickly throw away all of my blocks. Uh, some white stained clay, some hardened clay, some uh, black wool, some block of quartz, uh, some brown stained clay, and some grey stained clay, and I think that's it, I'm yeah, pretty sure about that. So what we do? It's in the corners of the yellow part over here. You want to place some white stained clay. Then you want to connect these to each other, like this. Then you want to extend them two times. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Like that. Now we have two separated lines. You want to connect these to each other. Like this. And if it's right, you will then have a 8x8 platform. So uh, let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so this is how you should have it. That's exactly right. Quickly fill up the platform. It's not too necessary, but it's always smart to do because uh, it makes it a bit easier to build. There we go. This is how it looks right now. Then what we first do uh, is we place 1, 2, 3 <coughs> white stained clay over there. Also on the other side, 1, 2, 3. In the middle, some hardened clay. 
which looks like that. Then two layers of white sand clay. So this is the first layer. This is the second layer. There we go. Then in the corners, some white sand clay, as well as in the middle, like this. Do the exact same thing again. There we go. And then another full white sand clay layer. This looks a bit random, <laughs> but we'll fill up the ice in a second. Then what you want to do is skip the first block, build on the second block, skip another two blocks, and then place another three. So it looks like that. All right. Then what we do over here, we place the brown stained clay, which looks like the eyebrows. Then on the inside, the black wool, like that. And on the outside, the block of quartz. There we go. Those are the eyes, <laughs> looking way better already. So what we now do, um, just follow what I do. Fill up this with some brown stained clay. That with some gray stained clay and this with some brown stained clay as well. Next layer, extend the brown stained clay, place it over there as well and over there, like that. Then get yourself the gray stained clay, fill up these empty spaces over here. Then also place one over there and place one, two, three, four, five brown stained clay over there. There we go, that's it for the front. Uh, then for the sides, which is a bit harder, let me just quickly zoom in my screenshot. Okay, what you want to do? Uh, is get yourself the white stained clay. Um, over here you want to place oh, one, two, three. Over here one, two, then one, and then another one, like that. Okay, and then what you want to do uh, is just quickly fill up this whole inner line with some brown stained clay, like this. Also, do the exact same thing on the other sides. So one, two, three, one, two, one, one, and then quickly do an inner line from this point over here like this there we go quickly pause the video if you didn't catch up with that okay now what you want to do uh, let's start off with the right side over here uh, is extend these blocks which we just did uh, except for the top one so you can get rid of that one uh, no they actually should be there uh, just don't extend the first one over here but you can extend all of those oh whoops like this there we go. Uh, also on the other side, extend everything of the brown blocks, except for the last one over there. There we go. Okay, then the next thing we do, uh, what is smart? Let's start from the bottom over here. Um, extend these four blocks another time, as well as that one, and build one on top of that, like this. Then just quickly uh, fill it up, like this. Then over here, also do one, two, three, four, five. Then over here, um, gray stained clay. Go uh, like this two times. Then one, two, three, uh, four this way, and then one to the top. It looks really random right now. I know that, but it will all make sense in a second. Then we fill up this, as well as this and this. There we go. Um, Next layer is over here, starting one, two, three, four, five, like that. So this is how the first side looks. Then just quickly place a block on top of there and extend it. Um, one, two, three, four, five uh, times, like this. Then over here you also want to place one, two, three blocks. And over here, like this as well, one, two, three. And there we go, that's it for the first side. Then for the second side, um, let me just quickly get the screenshots. Um, there we go, okay. So what you will do on this side <coughs> is the exact same thing. These four will be extended, as well as that, oh, that one. And build one on top of it. Quickly fill it up, like this. And over here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and over here you wanna start off with two pieces of gray stained clay then go uh, to the left one two three four times and then one block up then quickly fill this up over here so we get this then one two three four one two three four five one one two three four five like this all right we're almost there and then what you want to do is you want to go to the back um, which is right over here and you want to go uh, yeah place some brown stained clay over here 
all the way uh, in the back over there. Uh, then what you want to do is place some blocks over here, like that. So that's 10 blocks long as you can see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then do that two more times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. Uh, then do four layers of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And as you can see, it also just matches up quite good because uh, you just basically uh, yeah fill up all of the empty space over here. So then place two blocks in the corners over here. Extend that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. Also place some blocks over there, and then just um, fill up the top. Like this. There's one thing we need to do before we finish. As you can see right over there, there's a bit of a pattern in the hair. In the hair. Um, quickly check. Okay, so what you want to do uh, is get rid of this block, this block, this block, this block, this block, this one, 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 this one. Du, 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 du. There we go. All right, and then just quickly fill these up with some gray sand clay. And there we go, that's the statue of Elagard. Alright, so next episode we're going to make Magnus, as you can see over there. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, of course, it always supports me. I'm sorry I was a bit quick in this episode, so I will uh, slow down next episode, because uh, yeah, I just was in a bit of a hurry this time, and I really wanted to finish this video uh, this uh, today. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Later!